I'm spinning here on the Hanson Crafts Mini Spinner. Uh, the flyer I'm using right now is our jumbo sliding hook flyer. And I um, can show you as I uh, want to advance my hook, all I have to do is give it a gentle nudge. No pinching, it's not necessary. As a matter of fact, it's not good for uh, the fly or for the hook uh, mechanism or for your thumb for that matter. So it's just a gentle nudge and then I'm back to spinning. Uh, right now I'm in spin mode obviously and that's adjusted right here by this toggle switch. So to the right is clockwise spinning, in the center is off, and to the left is counterclockwise for applying. Alright, if I want to change bobbins or flyers all I do is open this latch and drop the back, remove the brake band, and then just slide the bobbin right off. If I want to change flyers, I would also remove the drive band, support the flyer, and just give it a gentle push. It comes right out of the orifice, and then I would slide back a different flyer if that's what I wanted to do. Um, for example, I might want to do some lace spinning, so I'd use our small um, high-speed flyer. Uh, this one is in maple, and by the way, this is the walnut spinner. Again, it's just a gentle uh, nudge on the sliding eye because of the design. If I wanted to swap out, perhaps for the woolly winder, for some plying, um, I would grab a woolly winder. Um, this is a level one mechanism for those of you who don't know. As the bobbin moves along, the eye moves back and forth automatically to lay down your thread in a very um, even manner. And the reason that happens is because the bobbin itself is, has a gear that attaches to, or that it meshes with this gear, and that's how the mechanism works. So again, I just slide this flyer off, slide this one back on, and replace my brake band on the bobbin, and then just close the door, remembering to put the drive band back on as well. And the drive band is uh, attached down here to the motor shiv, and then up to the flyer um, shiv or whorl. So this cord that we're seeing here atta is attached, this is the power cord. When you get your mini spinner, that power cord comes in two pieces, just like you would have for your, for your computer. And they attach, gives you quite a lot of cord. Uh, uh, I don't know, eight or so feet, I guess. Um, and it also, your spinner would also come with a cigarette lighter adapter. So you could use on your boat or your RV or in your car. Hopefully you would have somebody else driving in order to use that. Um, again, that the, the foot switch is plugged in right here and this is, this is what the foot switch looks like. I'm using it right now as a hand control in tap on, tap off. So when I give it a tap, um, it slowly starts up and off I go to spin. If I need to adjust the tension for a lighter or stronger uh, draw in, I do that right here with the scotch tension knob. And again, I would just tap um, to turn it off. The foot switch can also be used in, a, in dead man mode, which means that when I'm holding it down, the spinner would be working and when I let my pressure off it would stop and obviously you use that with your foot um, and that's easily switched back and forth by the order in which you put your uh, power cord and foot switch in. The speed control here um, allows me to change the kind of spinning I'm doing. If I want to spin thick I might slow my flyer down and draft out a little bit more fiber 
and I could get a thicker yarn. If I'm wanting to spin finer, of course, I need to put a lot of twist in, so then I can just increase the speed and uh, spin a much finer yarn. One other important thing to know uh, is the importance of using the foot switch and not just controlling the um, uh, the power <laughs> by using the the toggle switch. So if I remove the um, foot switch and just turn the machine on or off with the toggle, you'll see a, a notable difference. Instead of the flyer ramping up gently, it just goes straight to full speed and it stops instantly. So again, when I turn it on, it's full speed, and when I turn it off, it stops suddenly. Um, that's not so good if you're trying to spin fine. So that's why we have a smart little computer chip in there that's programmable and gives you a nice gentle start and stop. And so you'll be able to see how that works. And you notice that that ramps up very gently. and stops gently, so there's no problem with backlash. Again, starts up nice and slowly. Gent it's gentle on your thread, especially if you're spinning fine. Another thing that um, should be noticed is our orifice is 5 eighths of an inch, which is a really nice big orifice and allows you a great range of spinning. But some people don't care for the bounce that they can feel when they're spinning uh, finer yarns. So what we've done is we've made orifice reducers that come actually in three sizes, quarter inch, or excuse me, eighth inch, quarter inch, and three eighths inch. So for sort of general spinning, um, the quarter inch might be uh, nicer. So you just push the orifice reducer in, give it a twist, and it's in place. Run the orifice threader, which you will get with your spinner, um, in. Pick up your thread, bring it back out, and now you'll see that there, this, your thread is, is held nice and um, smoothly and doesn't bounce around as much.